Muhammad he claimed as an example and we heard Muslims speaking about how a lot of Muslims leave in Islam because of the story on Gog of Magog If Muhammad is a true prophet, this story must be true. It's a story in the past, yes, but those people are still supposed to exist. And their percentage is 1,000 to 1, which means if we are 1,000 human, sorry, one human, there's 1,000 from there, from the Gog and Magog. Where we can find the dam which Allah, He, and, and they, they're the people, they, they ask, uh, 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 to build it and this dam is built from iron and copper and supposedly those people will be behind the dam until the day of judgment they will be able to make a hole because one day their leader he say inshallah and then Allah Allah allow the hole to be open <laughs> but all of us we knew that it's impossible to build such a thing which will stay the test the, the, the survive the test of years especially it's made from iron and copper not to forget to mention that Muhammad is so stupid to the point he believed that the earth is flat and actually this is proven it because if we build a wall between us and those people they can go around the wall but because the earth is a flat, has an edge, literally an edge, not just a metaphorically. The Quran says, Atraful Ard. The earth have literally an edges, not metaphorically. See it? Here the Muslim, the added things is not there. Min atrafiha. Min atrafiha. From its edges. Again, the same. Min atrafiha. And the Muslim, they add things in control of the disbelievers. But even if we don't have those verses, if we build a dam, if we build right now a dam between the Palestinian, which are not Palestinian, the terrorists of Hamas, who they are Arab of the desert, and the Israeli, they can go around it. I mean, the, the Quran speak about a dam between two mountains. How Muhammad he say such a thing? Unless he is stupid. 